Today we are going to draw a cardinal. And a cardinal is a beautiful red bird that comes out around. You'll see it more in the winter time just because he's red and the leaves are down and the trees are bare. So you get to see him. But a cardinal also can be yellow and black. And I'll put some images up for you. Today we're going to hold our paper the tall way. Make sure that you guys use a pencil and then you trace with your marker. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to start on the side. We're going to start with the diagonal. Once you start with the diagonal, we come up with a point and then another point. Once we do that, we're going to make two points on the side for the beak. Now, after we've done that, we make a round curve and that is our cardinal's body. I know it looks strange, but it's going to look great in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a line right here. That's the beak. And we're going to make the line across. Once we do that, we make a curve and then a bump on the bottom. So it's like, kind of like when we draw an ear. Once you do that, draw an eye. And we're going to color all of this part black, which is black on the cardinal. Well, that was my dog trying to scare the cardinal away. Happens every time. Next, we're going to make a curve on the side, and that is for the wing. Once we draw the wing, you can actually do little use just to make the little feathers. Now, if you would like, we can make another cardinal on this side because we have a lot of room. So to balance it out, we're going to do the same thing that we just did. So the first step is diagonal, point, another point, and then we're going to curve. So it could be like a mom and a baby. It could be a boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be whatever you want. It could be two friends chilling out. Make sure you make the line and then the line across. Same as before we make that ear shape. Curve and then a bump. Add the hole, the circle for the eye, and color this all black. Once we do that, we can make a wing and use. Now, the cardinals right now are kind of floating in the air, so we're gonna add some sticks. So let's add a line underneath, a line again, and then we're gonna make a Y shape and make sure you make a Y. So then it looks like a real branch. Same thing here. We make a stick, we're gonna make this one come back, and then we can add another branch. Okay, so now our birds are sitting on a branch. You can even add another branch here if you want, if you feel like you need the room. If not, leave it alone. You could add a moon if you want up here. You could add a half a moon. You can leave it alone. Once we do that, we're going to paint our cardinals or use crayons or color pencil. I'm gonna use paint because I have it out today. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna paint the cardinals red. Like I said, they can be also yellow and I'll put some images of the yellow cardinals up also, but mostly they are red. So the cardinal itself is going to be a red color. Okay, so take your time. Now I just thought of something, once we finish this, normally we use white paint to make snow in the background because these are kind of like a snowy bird. But because we don't have white paint at your house possibly, you can do this. You can add little white circles in the background to give it snow and then you'll just make sure that you don't color those parts. So this could be snow or stars depending on how you color them. You can also add, if you want, you could add some icicles to the tree, give it more of a winter look. Okay. Now, or another thing is if you rather not do such a winter theme, but you want to do more of a fall theme, you could add like a, like a berry in their mouth. You could add berries on the tree to make it more fall and you could add some leaves. So depending what season you want, you can add things to the tree. So, Let's go back to the cardinal. Once I'm done painting the cardinal red, I'm gonna paint the beak, and the beak is going to be yellow. Now, you're gonna paint both cardinals. Depending on what season or what time of day you want, you can paint the background different things. I'm gonna actually paint my sticks first, just so you can get the idea of the sticks. Okay, so I'm gonna paint my sticks brown. You guys know sticks are brown. You could do the leaves, you can do the berries, but the background are a couple of different things. And I'm gonna write them on a piece of paper so you guys know what the colors are. So, let's tap that dry. 
So if I just want a regular blue sky, I'm going to use blues and maybe, uh, I would just stick with blue and maybe gray. If I want a like nighttime look and I want it to look like a, like a, a galaxy, I'm going to use blue, black, and purple. If I want a sunset, I'm going to use red, orange, and yellow. So you have a whole bunch of options to paint your sky. So I'm going to kind of break this up into different colors. It's going to look strange, but it's going to look good. So if you want to just do the regular blue sky, you're going to take your blue. And what I do is I tap, 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 tap. Then I take my next color and tap, 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 tap. And I keep tapping all around. When I tap, it kind of gives us this really cool look to it. So tap, 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 tap. And then I press and you'll see like all the little taps. If I'm going to do a galaxy, I'll do galaxy here. Tap, 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 tap with the blue. Tap, 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 tap with the purple. And then I tap, 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 tap with the black. Same thing. Make sure you tap with your pencil, with your paper towel. Same thing with the uh, sunset. Start with your one color, tap in, and then start tapping with your other color. Now, if you do not have watercolors, I'm going to show you how to do this with a crayon real quick. Same colors, the only difference is you're going to blend. So let me grab three colors just to show you. So I have blue, purple for the galaxy. So all I would do is lightly color one, lightly color the next color on top, and then I do the third color. So same technique, I'm just doing it with crayons. So this should take a while. This should not be quick, so this should take your time. Go slow. When you are done, you're going to upload these to Schoology so I can see them, and I cannot wait to see your cardinals.